Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 4th of 2025 is titled Comet Lemon Beyond Lomniki Peak. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image as we've looked at over the past few weeks and maybe a month now is Comet Lemon, which is a very prominent comet visible, especially with a camera. Now, it's bright enough to be able to have been seen with the unaided eye, but really the detail needs a camera to be able to bring that out, and that's what we see here. The comet itself will always point in the direction of the sun, so the tails are pushed away by the sun, so the head of the comet will look like it's heading toward the sun, which would be below the horizon and below the mountain seen here. Now the tails, there's actually two of them on a comet, and we'll have the very long ion or plasma tail stretching straight back. And that is individual atoms that are material being pushed back by the solar wind. It tends to be a little more irregular, so you can see some clumpiness there, various clumps of material, and it stretches back quite a ways, in fact, about 10 degrees across the sky. Now, 10 degrees, well, from the horizon to the zenith straight overhead would be 90 degrees, and 10 degrees is about your fist held at arm's length. So that's a very long tail. Now, if you go out and look for it, don't expect to be able to see that without the aid of a camera. It takes a camera and a long exposure to bring up the fine detail, especially you can see how the latter part of that tail is faded out and very faint, would not be easy to pick up. Now, the other tail is known as the dust tail. The dust tail, you can see here, stretches back as well. It's much shorter, and it also curves away a little bit to the right. Now, that is because it's telling us about the direction the comet is moving. The dust tail is slightly heavier particles, not individual atoms, but very tiny, minuscule clumps of material. And they get left behind as the comet orbits around the sun. So that will always trail away from the sun, but also lag a little bit in the opposite to the direction in which the comet is moving. So in this case, the comet is moving from right to left on our screen, and therefore the tail stretches back a little bit to the right. And that is, again, slightly heavier particles, and you can see that they fade away much faster. It's actually relatively bright when you're close to the comet, but the brightness fades very fast as you get farther away. So, Comet Lemon is now heading away from Earth and will actually be rounding the sun later this week. So, hopefully, still get a chance to get look at this. This has ended up being our best comet of the year. We had several other comets that appeared, but this one by far the best for visibility this year. So, that was our picture of the day for November 4th of 2025. It was titled Comet Lemon Beyond Lomniki Peak. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Spiraling Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.